It's like that crinkle plastic I had when I was a kid. Not bubble wrap. Yes. Bubble wrap, there you go. Even though I know it's going to be in black, there's something about that dress. I think she's absolutely exquisite. It's just perfect. It's form-fitting. It makes me feel sexy. It's just beautiful. I like it. I know we're rushing, but this is a very important decision. So I want you to put on a dress and have an emotional connection with it. Found her Prince Charming. <laughs> And, you know, she walked down the island, she would be in this white wedding dress. Number seven, last minute wedding. This bride has a difficult time with her dressing because of her opinionated mother. Bride Selena is getting married to her army fiance in five hours as he's being sent off to Afghanistan the next day. In some of these appointments, I have trouble figuring out who's in charge. Oh, I'll make it real easy for you. It's the bride. Speaking of, let's get to work now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I like that. Everybody have a good day. Getting shipped off tomorrow, and I got to get married before 5 o'clock. Wow. OK, so let me call Robin and see what we can do. Well, on our way, I overheard my mom saying she wished she could have seen me in a wedding dress. She should wear a wedding dress at a courthouse. But pressure? That's my middle name. I like mermaid-style dresses. I would like my dress to be form-fitting. You got it, flaunt it. It's still Selena's day. And we need to use our time wisely to find a dress that she loves. We know your mother loved this poofy style, but we thought this would look elegant, look great on your figure. Selena will have to wear off the rack because there is no time to actually get a dress made for her. She's getting married in a few hours at the courthouse, and she wants to find a form-fitted mermaid dress. Her husband has a dangerous job. He's the one that diffuses explosives, and so Selena doesn't want to wait. She wants to have her wedding as soon as she can. Her mother has some traditional ideas of what kind of dress she would wear, and it clashes with Selena's own opinions. The first dress that fits well is picked by her mother and is a traditional style dress that looks quite beautiful on Selena. She is about to say yes, but Lori can tell she's not fully convinced, so they try on some more dresses. So, Mom, what do you think of this dress? Uh, mm. We can try that one. We'll All try right, that one next. Let's give it a try. Okay. I'm about to try on the one my mother picked. I like the mermaid style dresses. This will have to go into the maybe. The maybe. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is beautiful. It's so classic. It's stunning. I love it. Selena looks like a real bride. I know we're rushing, but this is a very important decision. So I want you to put on a dress and have an emotional connection with it. So what are you saying to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. Yay! The last dress is a hit with Selena. After pairing it with her mother-in-law's veil, it turns into her dream dress. Number 6. 12-Year-Old Late Wedding Christine is renewing her vows to Altug after 12 years and wants the white wedding dress experience she missed the first time, and a huge part of it is a dream wedding dress. Her husband, their three kids, and her mother are here to find the perfect dress for this delayed wedding. Dress number one is liked by the bride, but it is not a hit with the family, neither her husband or with her kids. The next dress is one that they all picked it out for her, and it's a home run for everyone, especially Christine. But her husband is not a fan of the flowers on the dress, so they decide to try a couple more. Dress number three is more traditional and is chosen by mom. It has some ruching, which mom likes, but Christine is not impressed. The last dress is Christine's favorite, and the family is impressed too. Her husband doesn't like the bow on the shoulders, but he's happy with it if his wife likes it. No wonder he has had a successful marriage for 12 years. Number 5. Comedian Groom Bride Stephanie is getting married to groom Catfish. Bride that brings her fiancé to the appointment. She feels that his opinion is important to her. I brought my fiancé Catfish. Catfish? Yep. Yeah. That's an unusual name. <laughs> However, I've never met a fiancé who didn't care what his bride was going to wear on her wedding day. Boyd's nickname is Catfish. His brother gave it to him when they were younger because he used to wear his mustache long. Tell me what you're looking for. Something form-fitting and big on the bottom. How do you picture your future wife? Something fancy. And she invited him along to her wedding dress fitting, which isn't always the best idea. 
But let's see how it turns out. Catfish met Stephanie online and he's actually a comedian. Let's hope he doesn't decide to pull out the jokes today. The bride wants to wear something fitting and blown out at the bottom, so a pretty traditional ball gown style dress. Involved in everything and it's okay, I want his input. This is the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want to know what she's wearing. Sexy. <laughs> good, that's good, we wanted that. Oh, wow. <laughs> This dress, it's just perfect. To tell the priest to elaborate on how death does its part, I mean, this is just not the dress for her. Because I'm the only male here, everybody kind of gets the feeling like it's bad luck, but I think it's a good luck thing. We should have a say so. It's like that crinkle plastic I had when I was a kid. Not bubble wrap. Not yeah. bubble wrap, there you go. Oh. The staff's first pick is exactly like what she described and Stephanie seems to love it, but the groom definitely has a lot to say about it, comparing it to bubble wrap. He starts making jokes, letting his inner comedian out at the worst time. The bride's next dress is simpler but fashionable, showing off her curves, but the bride is not convinced and neither is the groom. And the main reason he's not happy is because she's not. The third dress is a favorite for Catfish, while Stephanie likes it but isn't totally happy. Luckily, the last dress she tries on is the winner for both Stephanie and Catfish. <laughs> wow, this is the one. I can definitely see Stephanie walking down the aisle in this dress. Dress feels great because of the fact that it makes me look like I have a very small waist. It's pretty, it's different, but it's also straight and not that stylish. But on the other bride, and I thought it looked beautiful. I like it. It was gorgeous, amazing. I loved it when I saw it. This might be the one. <laughs> okay, we found the dress. We went crazy. It's just perfect. It's form-fitting. It makes me feel sexy. It's just beautiful. I like it. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm so happy for you. Number four, black wedding dress. This bride has always liked to dress in black and even got a black diamond ring when her fiancé proposed to her. I love black so much that my fiancé even got me a black diamond. So, Mom. What do you think about a black dress? I'm looking for a black dress. I have always wanted a black wedding dress. Found her Prince Charming. <laughs> and, you know, she walked down the aisle and she would be in this white wedding dress. It doesn't surprise me that my mom would want Melody to wear a white wedding dress. We were raised conservative. You always wore princess dresses when you were a little girl. It could look a little goth. I don't want it to be gothic. Okay. I just want, I want it to be very elegant. And okay. I'm just a bride who happens to be wearing black. Not only are they not on the same page, they're not even reading the same book. Getting a bride into a black wedding gown is hard enough, but mom and daughter? She wanted her in the big white poofy ball gown. Her mom, on the other hand, would prefer a traditional white wedding dress, but Melody has her heart set on sticking with her favorite color. Her fiancé even got her a black diamond wedding ring since she likes the color so much. Lori tries to find a compromised dress that's both white and black, but it's not a hit with anyone. The next dress is more like what the bride wanted. I really like the shape. I feel really sexy. Can you imagine yourself in this one in black? Definitely. Oh, something's not okay with this. With the black, it's just hard for me to picture her as a bride. I just want my mom to like this dress as much as I do. It doesn't matter how badass this bride is. But mom is still not happy with a black dress. The next dress is white and the bride seems happy, but she still wants it in black. Her brother decides to side with her. In the end, mom comes around too when she sees how happy Melody is. The fitting ends in a success. In black. Oh my god. <laughs> this is beautiful. Hey, that you feel like yourself. That helps me to really just believe in what you want a little bit more. Mom, the color, it doesn't make a bride. That's right. You see that smile on her face? Even though I know it's going to be in black, there's something about that dress. I think she's absolutely exquisite. I am saying yes to this dress. Yeah! <laughs> Number three, self-conscious bride. Miwei is a size UK 12, sometimes a 14, and she's been turned down by other bridal salons due to her size, which is completely unbelievable. With an eager and supportive entourage of some amazing friends by her side, she hopes to find a beautiful wedding dress to suit her curves with Jovian Mandagi's help. Her friends help her choose a couple of options that she likes and she decides to start trying them on. Dress number one is a hit for the entourage and they say she looks stunning. Her husband thinks it might not be the dream dress and waste her to try some more. 
Mi Wei thinks the same and she tries on another one. The next one is closer to what the bride desires and she likes it, but this time it's not a hit with her friends. The third dress is too conservative for one of her friends and everyone feels like the second one is better. The staff pushes the bride to follow her own desire instead of just following what her friend tells her to do. The last dress is an altered version of the third one and is a hit with everyone. The bride loves it too and she decides this is the dress of her dreams. Number 2. Ball Gown or No Gown when the staff sees a family walking in with the bride, they get a little worried because you never really know how this is going to go. It could either be a wonderful experience or something downright terrible. This bride has decided to bring out a huge family with her for the dress hunt and she knows they are pretty cool so this could be tricky. The first dress is not a home run with the bride because she feels it shows too much cleavage and the family is not a fan either so they look for other options. It is clear bride Tanya wants a ball gown, but her opinionated family wants to see her walking down the aisle wearing a mermaid dress and that's the next one she tries on. Her father loves it, but Tanya is not on board. She says no. The next ball gown dress Tanya tries on is not a hit either. The look is just not what she's going for. The difficult journey is worth it in the end as Tanya's family finally finds her perfect dress after a couple more tries, it actually reduces her family to tears. Number 1. Modern versus Traditional Bride Jessica has a great relationship with Sharon, her mother-in-law, but unfortunately the two of them have completely different opinions on what the perfect wedding dress looks like. Mother-in-law wants something traditional, while our bride wants something simple and modern. Jessica falls in love with a pink dress which is not exactly traditional. So she lets her mother-in-law pick the first dress. She tries it on but is not a huge fan. It has too much lace for her. She tries the pink dress next and it's exactly what the bride wanted but the family isn't on board. Jessica decides to compromise and try on a veil. This turns it into the perfect dress for her mother-in-law too. That's all for today, folks. See you next time.